Perfect. So good morning. So it is 6.42. So I'll give it a couple of moments. So if you just want to get your mat ready or a blanket or whatever. And good morning if you're joining me first thing. Um, let me know who's joining in. And we'll start then in a couple of moments. Brilliant. So it's saying there's a few joined in. Um, so what time is it now? So it's just quarter to now, so we'll start to get ready. Brilliant. So we'll do a good lot of core today. We'll work on sides, front, top and bottom, and we will also do a good bit on the glutes on the backs of the legs. Brilliant. Perfect. So thanks many for joining in. If you're coming for work or going to work, or if you're just up nice and early, it's a lovely morning this morning. Brilliant. So when you're ready, we'll start down on our mat. So just like we did last week, we'll start down on the mat. Uh, we'll take a couple of minutes just to relax just to let the body just relax itself. A nice quick stretch, and then we'll start in, okay? So I'll talk through our Pilates breath, through engaging the pelvic floor. Um, so try and switch yourself off. So try and place yourself here in the room, um, and to really concentrate. So it takes a good lot of concentration to really engage and lift that pelvic floor and to engage that Pilates breath. So we are engaging from the inside, creating a fire in the belly, okay? So when you're ready, we'll just lie down flat first. So if you have any soft music you want to put on in the background, you can, if you just want to stay nice and quiet, it's also fine, so just follow my voice. So we'll just re relax ourselves down first, let the shoulders roll them down like you're folding in your wings down away from the ears. And then just briefly check in with how you're feeling this morning. Especially notice if there's anywhere you might be a little bit stiff first thing. Especially the lower back. 
And then just be very mindful then of those areas as we move through the class. Brilliant. So just scan down to the whole body. Let yourself relax. Just let yourself feel nice and heavy on the mat as I start to talk about engaging that pelvic floor. So the couple of ways. So in your mind's eye, think of your pubic bone there at the front. Then envisage your tailbone at the back. So in your mind's eye, just see the two points. And then as you breathe in, you're holding still a little bit of tension in the core. But then as you exhale, you're imagining you're drawing those two points, the pubic bone and the tailbone together, and lifting up. So drawing the space between the two points together and drawing up. So again, we can think as well of the pelvis and the hips like a bowl. So this is your bowl sideways as you lie flat. And then think of the bottom of that bowl, a band of muscle running underneath. So underneath the two points, of the pubic bone at the front, the tailbone at the back, the hips thin out here at the outside or the outside of the bowl. So as you exhale, engage and lift the bottom of that bowl. Brilliant. And then one more way to think is imagine drawing your navel, your belly button back towards your spine. So from the inside, engaging from the inside and lifting everything below from the bottom of that bowl all the way up. So you're drawing from the inside and lifting up. So as your breath gets a little bit quicker when we move through the class, in Pilates you can breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So build heat inside the body. Brilliant. So just do one or two more of those breaths. In through the nose, hold the tension. And as you exhale, draw up. Brilliant. Perfect. So then just start to bring a small bit of movement to the fingers and the toes. Take a big deep breath in and stretch yourselves nice and long. So just wake the body up. Big deep breath in, stretch as long as you can. Then as you exhale, engage that Pilates. Breath, engage the pelvic floor and slowly squeeze in. Lift your chin up. So bring yourself right into a little ball. Squeeze all the air out. Then engage the tummy nice and strong as we breathe in, slowly stretch the arms, stretch the legs all the way out. And as we exhale again, draw up that pelvic floor, slowly squeeze in, lift the chin up, so empty out all the body of air. We do two more, big deep breath in, slowly try and engage the tummy as you slowly let the arms and legs rest onto the ground. Exhale, squeeze and draw together, lift the chin up, stretch the back of the neck. And last one, big deep breath in. Slowly raise yourself all the way out, foot. And exhale, squeeze and fold. Perfect, lift the chin up, brilliant. Good, so from there then you can just let the head down. Let's give yourself a nice little rock from side to side. So on the side, down the other side of the spine. Then we'll start to stretch the legs, but really engage the core, weight that core up. Brilliant, so from there we'll hug on to the right knee, stretch the left leg long, but keep it hovering off the floor. Tuck the chin in if you can. So big deep breath in to prepare, and then as you exhale, swap the legs, hold the tummy nice and strong, and hold the opposite in. One in. Keep that leg, the floating leg, nice and long, point through the toes. Exhale, rotate, brilliant. So nice, slow and steady. All the energy is here coming from your center point. Your belly button is drawn back towards the floor. Brilliant. Nice, slow, control. Hug each knee in nice and steady. Stretch the opposite leg nice and long, so always elegance through the limbs, brilliant. Last one, perfect. Stretch all the way up nice and long, good. And pull in together, give yourself a little rest. Well done, brilliant. Then we'll do the backs of the legs. So we'll stretch the left leg out long, you can let it down towards the ground this time. Stretch and lengthen the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. So again, Pilates is all about um, getting taller and better posture. So always stretching the limbs nice and long, feeling all the backs of the muscle, muscles on the backs of the legs lengthen. Brilliant. Then from there, then we'll slowly creep and walk the hands up along this leg. Bring the nose up towards the knee as you exhale. Just try and release any tension. 
Stretch all the way down the back of that leg. Brilliant. Massage that leg down to the ground and swap to the opposite side. So holding the opposite leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Toes pointed back behind the head. Flex the heel all the way up towards the roof. And on this side, nice and steady. Stretch and creep the hands all the way up. Bring the nose up towards the knee. Brilliant. Feel the stretch all down the back of the leg. Perfect. Then from there, knees and tummy nice and strong. And we're going to alternate between these long straight legs. Brilliant. So you can point the toes towards the roof. As you exhale, switch the leg, pull the opposite leg back towards us. Feel a nice long stretch all down the leg, but keep the lower back into the ground. Brilliant. Perfect. Nice. Slow and steady. Good. Well done. Take your time. Brilliant. Just grab up along the leg as far as feels good for you. Stretch all the way back. Do two more. Feel the stretch. Good. And last one. Brilliant. And relax. Perfect. Let the two knees down. Just give that gentle rock again. Brilliant. From there, we'll just come into the tabletop position. And then we're going to start to get the glutes fired down. So bring the legs to tabletop position. So like I always say, don't let the knees too far back. You want your tailbone nice and long. Bring the knees to tabletop just above the hips of the shins parallel. So we don't want the feet dangling down. Brilliant. From there, then scoop the belly button in. Lift your head down if you have any neck trouble or any pressing in the morning. Sometimes you're a little bit stiffer. Or if you want to progress, then just tuck the chin up. Everything coming from here from the center point. So as we breathe in, one leg stretches all the way up. Exhale, draw back. Use that pelvic floor to draw the leg back. Big deep breath in the opposite side. Exhale, draw back. Perfect. Nice, slow and steady. Stretch long. Don't worry which way your breaths. Don't get too concerned if it's on the in or the out. But as long as when you exhale, you're squeezing and drawing up that pelvic floor nice and strong. Brilliant. Perfect. Last one or two. Squeeze. Good. Stretch and squeeze. Good. Draw back. Brilliant. And relax. Perfect. Just take a second. Let the knees just gently rock and fall from side to side. Just get a nice rotation of that lower back and then we come up into our glute bridge. Brilliant. Perfect. So walk the feet back towards us. Plant the heel in towards the mat. Have your feet nice and strong in the mat. Have your knees at hip width apart. Just make sure that the pelvis is nice and neutral. So just play around with the pelvis. Get that lower back into the mat. So you don't want to, you don't really want an arch in the lower back as much as you can, as much as your body will allow. So remembering that we're all very different, different skeletons. So we breathe in to prepare. Have the shoulders rolled down away from the ears, hands by your sides. Take a breath in to prepare, and then as you exhale, think of lifting the bottom of that bowl, slow and steady, curl your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up into a view bridge. Don't overextend, but let's fire these glutes on and fire that core on. Take a breath at the top, and then as you exhale, lift the bottom of that bowl now. It's going or it's coming down towards gravity. Nice and slowly controlled, peel vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way down. So keep a squeeze on that tummy from the inside. Brilliant. Same again. Breath in at the bottom to prepare. So the slower the better. As you exhale, slow and steady. Peel all the way up. Give a squeeze to the glutes at the back. Brilliant. Breath in at the top. And as you exhale, slow and steady. Again, peel vertebrae by vertebrae. Really curl your spine. Try and move each part on its own. One more of those nice slow ones. Breath in as we exhale. Slowly peel all the up vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way up to the top. From here now, we're going to hold it. We're going to come into that single leg glute bridge. So place all the way through your left heel. Take a big deep breath in to prepare. And then bring the right knee in towards the chest and stretch it up nice and long towards the ceiling. So squeezing up through this left side. We'll just do the straight leg first. Good. So as you breathe in, stretch this right leg longer. As you exhale, engage the tummy and fire up through this left glute again. we we'll do two more. Breath in, stretch nice and long. Exhale, draw the pelvic floor and squeeze up a little higher. Really fire on that single leg. One more breath. Good. Stretch long. Squeeze up a little higher. Brilliant. Bend the knee down nice and elegantly. Plant the opposite foot down. Keep the hips up if you can. Move nice and gently on the mat. From there then, bending the left knee in this time. Stretch and lengthen it up towards the ceiling. Good. So again, breathe in, stretch long. Exhale, fire up through that right glute. Well done. Breathe in, stretching long. 
Exhale, squeeze, go down. One more. Breath in, stretch long. Exhale, squeeze. Perfect. Bend the knee down. Hold the glute bridge for a second. Take a breath in to prepare. And as you exhale, nice, slow and steady, curl and peel the spine all the way down to the mat. Brilliant. Take a second and we're going to do one more round of those. This time when the leg is straight, you're moving the leg as one and you're going to lower to 45, back up. Lower to 45, but try to keep the leg nice and long. Move the leg as one whole, okay? So when we're ready, we get set again. So again, firing on from the glutes. We take a big deep breath in to prepare. And as we exhale, peel up, push up through your heels, all the way up into the glute bridge, we'll go back to that first leg. So all the way to the left leg. Stretch and lengthen the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. So as we breathe in, stretch long. We're going to keep the exhale going on the movement. So slowly exhale, engage about the towards four to five, all the way back up, keep the exhale going. Take a breath in at the top. Good, exhale, lower that right leg to four to five, all the way back up, keep squeezing up to the left side. Brilliant, one more, breath in. Good, exhale, slowly lower and back up. Brilliant, stretch, good. Bend the knee down nice and steady and swap to the opposite side. Keep the hip side if you can. Going through the right side, stretch. Bend and lengthen the left leg all the way up towards the roof. Good. As we exhale, lower the leg slowly. Keep the exhale going all the way back up. Brilliant. Squeeze up through the right heel. Brilliant. Second last one, stretch. Good. All the way down and up. Breath in to prepare. Exhale, hold the tummy strong. Good. All the way back up, brilliant, and bend the knee down. Hold the glute bridge out for a second here. Take a breath in to prepare, and then as you exhale, come up through your tippy toes, take a little step in. Take a couple of breaths here, so really feel it all the way through the back legs. So you're right up at the tippy toes. You're feeling it more in the lower legs as well, the calves. So keep your breath going as you breathe in, still hold a bit of tension, but as you exhale, really draw that belly button back towards the spine. Lifting everything underneath up towards the rib cage. One more breath, squeeze up through the tippy toes. Brilliant, and nice and slowly lower down and curl the spine all the way down towards the floor. Perfect. Let's bring the knees in. Keep your knees out. Nice and rock from side to side. Perfect. Well done. Brilliant. So from there, then we're just going to do one or two more core moves and then we will come up to a seated position in a second, okay? So when you're ready, we're going to go for a little bit of a tougher one, so our 90 degree angle with the legs. If you have back trouble, bend the knees. Only ever go as far as feels good for you. So when you're lowering the leg, if it feels too much with a long leg, so a straight leg, because moving the leg is one is heavier than when the knee is bent, only let the leg drop as far as you have control. So don't let the lower back, lower back start to click in. So everything is coming here from the front. Everything is controlled by that pelvic floor, by the core, so from inside, okay? From the front. So when you're ready, get the lower back into the ground, get the pelvis nice and steady, straight long legs up towards the ceiling. Then scoop the shoulders up if that feels good. You can use the hands just as a balance, but don't get into the habit of pulling the head. The hands are just there as a support. So we're going to move on the exhale down and back up. So as you breathe in, we stretch the legs as long as you can. As you exhale, one leg moves slowly. Keep the exhale going, draw that leg all the way back up. Breath in at the top, again, opposite leg. As you exhale slowly, only go as far as you control. Keep the exhale going back up. Brilliant, so use those lower abs. Use that core, that pelvic floor as a rope to lower and pull that leg back up. Brilliant. Big deep breaths. As you exhale, lower. Good, draw back up. Take a breath in at the top, but keep going. Take breaks if you need it, well done. Nice, slow and steady. The slower the better. Feel the weight of the leg and feel the core have to work to lower and bring that leg back up. We'll do one more on each side. Brilliant, then we'll take a breather, perfect. Nice and slowly exhale, slowly down and back up, well done. Take your time, slowly down and back up. Perfect, bend the knees in, take a second. Well done, brilliant. So we'll do one more now before we pop to seated. We'll do our elbow to knee. 
So again, just use the hands as a support on the head so we're not pulling the head. So we'll come to that tabletop position, scoop the belly button in, hands just as a balance. Take a breath in to prepare. As you exhale, one leg stretches out, we'll go opposite elbow, opposite knee, back to centre, good. Breath in to prepare. Exhale, slowly stretch and draw back. We'll exhale on the movement. Keep the lower back pushed into the mat. Brilliant. Lifting up and over, using your core. Brilliant. So the shoulders come up. When that pelvic floor engages to lift us up, fire in the belly. Brilliant. Nice, slow and steady. Perfect. Well done. Take your time. Good. Nice and strong. Well done. We'll keep going. Take breaks if you need it, if you're just beginning. If you're advanced, you've done the class a couple of times. Keep it going, nice, slow and steady. Start to feed in the fire in the belly. As long as it's only a fire in the belly, you keep pushing through. Keep the breath nice and strong. Keep the energy going to the toes. Brilliant, we're nearly there. One more each side, stretch long, good. Last one, stretch long, perfect. And relax, brilliant, bring the two knees in. Well done, so feeling fire in the belly. Good, so front and then we just scroll ourselves forward the back. Massage all the way up along the spine. Brilliant. Lift the core as you roll. Perfect. And come up to a seated position. Well done. Brilliant. So when we come up to the seated position, we'll just open out the hips and the groin first. And then we're going to do some of our core seated. Okay. So getting a good burn and the core today. So we'll just push a flare out the knees. So find the two sit bones. Sit up nice and tall. Hold on to the toes and just butterfly out the knees. Brilliant. We're flying through. Well done. And then from there, just hold on to the shins, get the elbows in on the knees, just slightly tilt forward, but hold your back up nice and straight. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. Brilliant. Just wake up those hips. Perfect. From there, then grab a little drink if you need it. And then we're going into seated position and we'll do two core moves, two rounds in our seated position. Brilliant. Perfect. So, good morning, Fiona and Lisa. Hope we're getting on good. Thanks, William. Excellent. So, in our seated position. So, we'll start with our seated roll. So, we're rolling back towards the floor. So, or sorry, curling our spine, lowering vertebrae by vertebrae towards the floor. Use the hands and the backs of the knees if you need to help you get up. But just don't forget where you're squeezing from, lifting that pelvic floor to slowly bring ourselves up and bring ourselves down. So plant the two feet. The most important thing at the top is to make sure that we get that nice tall spine so we never start in a rounded position. So energy up to the spine, find the two sit bones, hands out by the sides, take a big deep breath in to prepare. Then as we exhale, lift and draw up and curl slowly. Resisting gravity, Vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down to the mat. Set our feet, take a second at the bottom, hands directly below above the shoulders. Big deep breath in to prepare as you exhale. Lift and draw that pelvic floor again. Peel yourself, so think head, shoulders, vertebrae by vertebrae. Use the hands in the backs and knees if you need. Sit tall at the top as you breathe in. So feel the energy run up through the spine. Nice and slowly, exhale, curl, draw, lift that pelvic floor slowly. Nice and steady, control on every movement. So the slower, the better. Take a breath in at the bottom. Good, exhale again, peel, head, shoulders, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up. Good, so try not to muscle up. Try and think of that pelvic floor. Slow and controlled, resisting gravity on the way down. And then on the way up, you're trying to control so you're not muscling up. You're not using momentum. You're squeezing and drawing. Brilliant. So the tummy, bottom of the tummy is like a rope, slowly lowering us down and slowly bringing us back up. Brilliant. We'll do one more slowly all the way up. When we come up to a seated position, we'll stay here. Brilliant. So from here then, find the two sit bones. So I'll start first and you can join in. So again, roll the shoulders back and down so the spine is nice and long. We're going to balance then on the sit bones but without letting the spine curl. So we're going to lift the feet up off the mat. Brilliant. So use your hands here as a support if you need. If you want to cross the hands along the chest, you can. So if that position is strong enough and you feel the core fire on and you don't want to move the leg, 
You can just hold it here for a couple of breaths. Trying to focus again on the bottom of that bowl, the front of the tummy, nothing in the lower back. So never ever hold yourself up with the lower back. So get ready. Set yourself, shoulders back and down. Lift the feet, brilliant. So breath in to prepare. Then as we exhale, one leg is going to stretch out. Keep the exhale going, draw back. Take a second. Brilliant. Move, exhale, and on the movement. Nice and slowly, keep your heart center. Reaching up towards the ceiling, brilliant. So watch that the lower back doesn't kick in. Stretch nice and long, draw back. Brilliant. Breath in. Exhale, squeeze, good, draw back. Brilliant. We'll just do another couple, one or two. So you're feeling the right down low. Good. Turn all the focus to the belly. Feel the fire in the belly. As you exhale, keep drawing that pelvic floor to so the feeling. Make your stop to go to the bathroom, lifting up. Good. Last one. Brilliant. And relax. Perfect. Take a second. You can rock out the hips again or rock from side to side. Brilliant. We'll do those two just one more time. And then we'll come around into our planks, into our all fours. Our last block, okay? Brilliant. So the time is flying. Okay, so plant the two feet again. Find the two sit bones. So back to our first one, slowly lowering down, slowly coming back up. So roll the shoulders back and down, sit with a tall spine, big deep breath in. And again, as we exhale, slow and steady, curl ourselves all the way down to the mat. Take a second at the bottom. Brilliant. Exhale again, peel, head, shoulders. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly lower yourself up. Keep strength through that spine. Breath in at the top. Good. Exhale. Nice, slow and steady. Peel all the way down. Lifting that pelvic floor, drawing the belly bone back towards the spine. Brilliant. Take our time. Well done. All the way to the top. Brilliant. We'll do two more. Breath in at the top. Slowly exhale. Peel. Lifting the bottom of that ball, slowly draw the two points together, bring them back into your mind's eye. Pubic bone at the front, tail bone at the back. Perfect. And last one. Nice, slow and steady. Peel, peel, peel all the way down. Bring them. We have to come to the top to reset. Good. Excellent. Well done. And take a second. Brilliant. So in the seated position again. So go into the posture as far as feels good for you. So you don't need to do the leg movement. If you're just starting and you need to use the hands as a balance, just watch that you get control on that back and just hold it there for a couple of seconds at a time. So remembering that you can only hold and engage your pelvic floor for a couple of seconds at a time, okay? So remember, on the breath, try and relax a small bit and then really engage then again on that exhale. Brilliant. So sitting up nice and tall, tall shoulders roll back, find the two sit bones, Find your balancing point. Lift the toes off the ground. Hands up for balance or across the chest. Keep the shoulders down. Breath in to prepare. Exhale, one leg moves. Exhale, draw back. Perfect. Breath in. Try and move on the exhale if you can, as much as you can. But don't get too caught up on if you're breathing in or out. Just as long as when you exhale, wherever it is, that you're engaging a pelvic floor. Brilliant. So lifting the bottom of that bowl, keep the spine strong, all the work coming from the lower abs, coming from the inside, fire in the belly, brilliant, nice and steady, good, feeling the burn, perfect, we'll push through for another few reps, good, last time with this one, hold the back strong, perfect, last one on each leg, good, draw back, last one, and draw back, perfect, well done, take a second, good. And just rock from side to side. Brilliant. And then from there then, we'll come around into our all fours position. Well done. So we'll do our few core moves in the all fours position. And then we'll do a plank country. Well done. Perfect. So we'll just get a bit of movement in the spine first. And so we'll come into our cat cow. So the pelvis and the hips are physically moving. So as you exhale and your belly button is drawing up towards the spine, really think about engaging that pelvic floor. So just before we do any movement, just get a long, tall, neutral spine. Have your head in line with the spine, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, just stay still, close the eyes and think about your pelvic floor in this position, okay? So some people find it easier, I find it a little bit easier to get it in this position. So you're breathing in through the nose, 
Still hold tension as you exhale. Think of the two points. Pubic bone at the front, tailbone at the back, drawing up, drawing the space together. Good. Think as well as transverse abs. So all around here, these ones that wrap around the hips, zipping everything together. Perfect. Good. Then we'll start to move in with the spine. So keeping the limbs nice and steady as we breathe in, we let the belly drop. Stretch the front body, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, good. And then as you exhale, draw, lift that pelvic floor, draw the belly button, press through the hands, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, brilliant. Big deep breath in, nice and slowly, get a nice stretch on the core, perfect. And exhale, draw together, really round the shoulders, engage the pelvic floor, and we'll just do one more. Brilliant, we'll do these again at the end for a stretch. Good, engage the pelvic floor, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Perfect, come back to center, brilliant. So from there now, get your spine nice and neutral again. I'm gonna come into that bear crawl position. So you're gonna feel it here in the fronts of the legs, but try and turn your focus all to that center point, all to the core of the pelvic floor, drawing that or the navel back towards the spine and lifting the bottom of that bowl, okay? So when we're ready, keep the head in line with the spine as well, don't let the head drop down. Hands, use the full hand. So big deep breath in to prepare, and then as we exhale, tuck the toes and just lift the shins parallel off the mat. So keep the shins nice and low, hold nice and strong, shoulders are strong. Start to really breathe now, in through the nose, out through the mouth, get the fire in the belly, hold nice and strong. Perfect, so drawing that space together, lifting the bottom of that ball, good. Perfect, take another couple of breaths. Good, so really, really focus here. All your attention on the core, perfect. Feel the front leg start to burn, feel the core burn, good. And relax out, ready. You can sit back onto the heels, sit the hips all the way back, drop the head down, creep the hands, just get a little stretch. Brilliant. Perfect, we're going to come back into there again. So if you want to make it a little bit tougher on this one, we'll add in the shoulder taps, but just make sure when you add in the shoulder taps, it's slow. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. And when you're moving, make sure that the hips stay nice and neutral. So think of the two here, hip flexors at the front, think of them as two headlamps that have to keep facing the mat. So you don't want them going off balance you don't want one lifting up at a time, okay? So, if you found the bear crawl was strong enough, stay in that position. So those of you that advance, go straight in when you're ready, and then stay, stick with me if you need. So hold the core nice and strong, back nice and neutral, breath in to prepare, exhale up and squeeze into that bear crawl position, get set, hold the knees steady, add in the arms if you wish. Brilliant, hold nice and strong, Watch that the hips don't move too much, the rock, the tiniest bit, but you're trying to keep that core strong to keep you in position. Brilliant. Feel the front leg switch on. Feel that core switch on. Perfect. One or two more, nice and strong. Engage, good. Perfect. Last one, brilliant. And relax, brilliant. Take a second, sit back if you want. And we're into our last little bit of work into our plank. And then we'll get a nice stretch. Brilliant. So we're just gone quarter past seven. So we'll come up into our high plank position first. So hands below the shoulders. If you've got any back or knee trouble, drop to the knees at any point if you need and reset whenever you need. So never ever, as always, feeling anything in the lower back. So get yourself nice and strong. To get into the good plank position, one foot steps back. And then the other follows. So we're nice and long. Off we go. So the legs and the arms are about the same width apart. Get the back nice and strong. And again, focus here now. So slow everything down. Think of the pelvic floor. Think of the core. Brilliant. So yes, the head, or sorry, yes, the shoulders, the legs, everything is fired on. We're trying to turn your focus to the core. Fire in the belly. Brilliant. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Shouldn't be able to hold the plank too long now for squeezing from the inside. Perfect. And lower yourself down. Brilliant. Take a second. Just rest the head. Bend the knees in. Let yourself rock from side to side. 
Perfect, we'll do one more of those, and then we come down into our low plank. Brilliant, so when you're ready, bring yourself back up again. Get yourself set. So hands below the shoulders, use the full hand as a grip, not just the back of the wrist. One foot steps out nice and long to get you into position. Never let the back dip. The other leg comes up to meet. Brilliant, hands below the shoulders. Squeeze everything on, so in the class we'd be usually saying fire your glutes, fire your legs, so fire those all on, but really turn your focus to that center point. On the exhale, engaging the pelvic floor. Brilliant, drawing the two spaces together and lifting up, which is harder. Good. Take two more breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, build the fire, one more. Keep the head strong, out through the mouth. Brilliant, drop the knees and slowly lower down. Perfect, just rest the head. Let the knees bend in and wrap from side to side. Perfect. And then we're into our last two. So into our plank position for the first one and just hold it in our low plank on the elbows or on the forearms. And then our last one then, we'll just add in the legs. So last fire on of the glutes. We're really working with the core. Just like when we move the hands in the last one, moving the legs as one in this one. And again, headlamps, we don't want the hips to move too far. Okay, so we're ready into our forearm plank. So palms flat to the mat, elbows below the shoulders. Same way to come in, one foot steps back to get yourself nice and long, and the other one comes up to meet. Brilliant. So we don't want to dip in the back. We want the head to the gaze in between the arms. Brilliant. Shoulders nice and strong. Head in line with the spine, so don't let the head dip down. Hold everything strong. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Squeeze everything. The glutes are fired on as well. But turn the focus again to that pelvic floor. Good. Just two more breaths. So we shouldn't be able to hold the plank now for too long. If you're squeezing, drawing that space together and lifting up. Last breath. And relax. Perfect. Well done. Take a second. Last one. Into the plank position and lifting one leg at a time. If the plank is strong enough, just hold your plank position, okay? Whew. It's getting warm. So, when we're ready, up into the plank position. Get yourself set. One long leg. So, always get into that correct position. Nice and strong. Long legs. Brilliant. So, hold the plank if that's enough. If you want, then one leg moves at a time. But the hips stay in position, move the leg on the exhale, good. Exhale, squeeze, exhale, squeeze, good. Take a breath in to get set, hold the head nice and strong. Brilliant, move the leg as one, only lifting, perfect. Keep that going, only lift about an inch off the ground, not too high, so you don't want the lifts, hips to start moving, perfect. Do one or two more reps, good. Brilliant, hold strong, excellent. Squeeze, brilliant, and relax, perfect. Just let the head relax down, bend the knees in, gently rock from side to side. Perfect guys, brilliant. So we've done about 35 minutes of work there. So just get a nice stretch now. Excellent. Brilliant, so we'll stretch the lower back and the core. So flatten the two feet into the mat. Bring the hands right back in by your sides, glue the elbows in. Nice and slowly breath in, slowly clean yourself up. Keep a soft bend in the elbow. Shoulders draw back and down and nice and slowly peel out. Let your tummy relax now. So big deep breath in, slowly peel up. Keep the hips towards the floor. Exhale, slowly down and last one of these. Breath in, slowly peel up, perfect. Exhale, down, good. And then from there, put yourself all the way back. Sit back onto your heels. Drop the head down in between the arms. Brilliant. So let the lower back relax. Perfect. Well done. And from there, then come up onto your all fours position. Just do a couple of those cat cows, but as a stretch. So let the pelvic floor and the tummy relax now here. So hands below the shoulders, knees, or sorry. Yeah, hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. So just breathe in, stretch the front body, lift the chin and the tailbone. Exhale, draw together, really just stretch the back of the shoulders, tuck the chin, stretch the back of the neck, so move fluidly now through. Exhale, draw together, tuck the chin, good. Last one, big deep breath again, nice stretch that belly, core, perfect, and squeeze. From there then, press through the hands, tuck 
the toes, lift ourselves up, just stretch the backs of the legs. Press the head in, right in between the arms. Come up onto the tippy toes and we'll just let out one heel at a time. Get right down the backs, the calves, the Achilles. Bring it. Perfect. And then nice and slowly, taking one step at a time, fold ourselves in and slowly peel yourself all the way up. Perfect, guys. Well done. So thanks so much for joining in with me this morning. Red faced. So let me know how you get on and um, this video will upload and stay here so you can do it whenever you want. So hope you're all enjoying the classes. Mind yourselves, take care and see you the next day. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Fiona. Excellent, brilliant. Thanks very much. Have a good day and mind yourselves. Well done. See you, Lisa.